All right, so after that amazing step between Super and Beast, we're moving on to our second loser's, loser's quarter set between Darkstalker, aka True Sonic, aka Neon Hydro City. His main tag is now Darkstalker, and he's going up against Robbie AK47, who's, imp who's continuously improving in every tournament he's entering, it seems, as of late. Winner plays Super in loser semis. <laughs> and Robbie, I'm gonna use his headphones for this set, so we'll have no game audio in the meantime, but once again, you'll be able to hear me, Murasaki, the commentator. And Richard, interest is, I don't think um, Darkstalker has faced Robbie a lot. So I'm not sure if he's too familiar with um, the Sonic and Shulk matchup. But we'll see. It could be that the speed that Darkstalker plays with Sonic could throw off Robbie, like like it did to me when I lost played uh, when me and Darkstalker played on Winner's Side earlier on. But we'll see. Robbie can also challenge Sonic with, of course, Speed Monado and such. So I'm interested to see how this matchup will go. Probably immediately going for speed. Don't blame him. And, what, and also because um, Shulk's aerial, Shulk's short hop aerials, they actually come out faster, as well as not going too high, which is actually very ideal for Shulk to to really get up to your opponent's face and not give them much breathing space. Even if you run away, you can only get a breather for like a very short period of time. I'm not sure what Robbie tried to do there. I think that was an up smash attempt. Once again, Speed Monado. And also, I do think um, Shulk's aerials comes out faster with the Speed Monado. He probably thought that Darkstalker was not going to snap the ledge when he recovered. Robbie just holding back for the most part. Lands on Sonic's um, spring, but... Oh, did it, didn't do anything. Oh, that's a very poor, that's a very poor landing from Top Stalker. Just missed the two frame with that forward smash. But again, may be relying on Top Stalker not snapping on ledge. I'm not entirely certain. Just got hit by the forward smash. And there's an SD there. Unanticipated, but we will take it. Going for that buster, hoping to rack up damage fast on Darkstalker. But of unsafe landing there from Robbie. Sonic can actually act out fast in scenarios like that when there are, his opponent's lands right in front of him. He can use use an F-tool and such, and you know, if he and if he can use it at Sorry, and if Sonic can use it fast enough, he can even land a forward smash. Oh dear. Okay, he makes it back. I think that's a bit dangerous, to, in my point of view, to do something to do something like that as Sonic. But you know, but if you've practiced said tactic long and hard enough to the point where you've pretty much perfected it, then. By all means, go right ahead. I mean, everyone plays said characters differently. No one plays said character the same, pretty much. Robbie's starting to land more aerials. 
through. He's punishing Darkstalker a lot, a lot more efficiently. And he's also holding his shield in case for the home, in case the homing attack comes out. Which has also been helping him winning him neutral in some aspects. Robbie patiently... Whoa, that's it. The spring actually gives him. He had no jump. And Jump Monado was not even going to save him in that instance. Shield Monado just drops out, but... Still, though, that wasn't enough for the stock. Not looking good now for Robbie, it seems. If now Darkstalker is landing more successful approaches, especially the spin dash to homie attack setups. Alright, good approach. Quickly switching to Smash Monado. He's trying to approach with a grab, but why not just throw out a forward tilt or something? That was actually a very good parry from Darkstalker, but... Couldn't get anything out of it, sadly. Robbie just trying to wait as patiently as possible just to land something. Dogstalker. But I feel like this is where Dogstalker is actually fairly strong, and there's another SD. So, SD from both players, but Robbie's one was very much more costly. As he takes game one. Game two now, and I saw Robbie change the shot point. Excuse me about that. So anyway, game two, Dog Stalker one nil up. Robbie just managed to get out of the homing attack range. Oh, just, Robbie just shielded in time, and he did land an up tilt Boston Monado hitbox, but it's not really done anything for him. It's a good thing Robbie drifted down because Dog Sogger did throw out a second up back air, which can actually kill depending on said scenario. Robbie decides to air slash out of disadvantage, and he has to eat a back air for it, and that's another spring game. Beats out. So I catches Robbie, and from what I can see, he's certainly not happy about that. Dog Soccer is completely running all over Robbie. He's. It's actually amazing how well he can do with Sonic when he's got this when he's got the speed. Almost a second stock. But Darkstalker is really sending a message that once he's had this, this stage to himself, it's his stage, his own playground, free to do whatever he wants. And I myself did struggle to beat it. Lovely back air. Came out... Came, I think he used um, up B. Oh, sorry, I thought he landed on the spring to set it up. I don't think that's the case, just up B back air. Oh, goodness me. Even though Shock was in shield, was it was on shield Bernardo. Random took the risk and just keep on hitting hitting Shulk in that set position. And he actually did rack up a fair amount of damage. Alright, Robbie lands an up here with Smash with Smash Bernardo, but He's putting all his eggs in one basket if he's to make a comeback in this position, which I doubt that's hap that's gonna happen. But he is landing but he is landing hits with the Boston Bernardo. Tried to go for a forward smash. Didn't work out, but got two more hits and almost takes out Dog Stalker's second stock. Oh, lovely. That was a... Was that a zero to death? That might be, you know. I'm not entirely certain. Robbie now... That was a brilliant second stock from Robbie. 
let's see if he can keep it up. But again, another good parry from Dark Stalker, which I think that's another strong point about Dark Stalker. He's fit, he's quite good at landing parries, and also what to do when he lands a parry against certain characters. I think he's got I think he's got good timing with parries. <laughs> he taunted. He taunted. He's trying to put off Robbie. Well, we'll see if it works out. Oh, we got a shield break. This is a, this is unbelievable. This Sonic is absolutely taking everyone on a... I'm trying to find the right words to say. But basically, he's spinning so fast that it's hypnotizing his opponents. 2-0 to Dark Stalker. So, Robbie, 2 0 down. We saw we saw what he was able to do with the sec with um Dark Stalker's second stock. So comeback is a possibility, but but for me, Dark Stalk is definitely the better player of the two. Landing better hits and such. And also and also the timing of his parries has also helped out in some aspects. And I think it's safe to say that when Dark Stalker is throwing out jumps and hitboxes. Is their real actual base for the opponent to approach, because because in the end he does manage to get some sort of conversion in some cases when his opponent does approach us safely. Just I thought that was on safer sir, but I remembered that Dog Soccer does actually does a short hop from the ledge before using combi attack, so that in case if he misses his opponent, he can get back on stage safely if they don't manage to gimp him otherwise. But once again, Dark Stalker's speed and momentum of how he's playing with Sonic is really off putting to Robbie. I, I get the sense of feeling it's really off putting to Robbie. And I definitely got that sense of feeling myself as well when I played um, Dark Stalker as well. I just thought I couldn't keep up with him. Robbie, though, winning stage control. Beaut nice air dodge, just in time. Robbie just short hops. That was a free down smash. I thought maybe Dark Soul could go for a forward smash, but probably wouldn't have killed. Maybe. Wow, Shield Monado, it also increases the shield strength for Rob for um, Shulk. I respect that recovery option, but probably just managing to land it, hit him as Shulk's as the Monado down there. It does actually go through the stage. He was able to catch Dark Stalker there. That's dangerous from Robbie because oh, he had no intertangibility frames there. Managed to escape from that. Ooh, he, I, he, he just he held back. Wait and see what how Robbie's going to land back on stage. Fox Stalker is also spending a fair amount of time in the air, which Robbie is actually, for the most part, having a hard time to keep up. But he has been improving in that aspect. Whoa! That actually hit, and we got that damage racked up, all right. I think Dark Stalker maybe has to take a small step back, because he's struggling to take Robbie's first stock, and he's on the verge of losing his second stock. Smash order is out. Gets up just in time to send Robbie away from ledge. But he did not respect the air slash with the jump order. Some players still fall for that. When I tried to gimp Shulk. But the neutral trade does work into Dark Stalker's advantage, but that was a nice, that was a nice mind game from Robbie with this, sh with the short hop, empty short hop. Twenty-two percent already, just that little combo. Now, of course, he does have to eat that forward smash from Shield Monado, but it does less damage though than usual. So, not that much. What a parry! Oh he, did, oh, he only got one hit with the Buster Monado from it. All oh, the spring did catch him there, but Robbie just managed to 
sent Dostalker away to give him enough time to get back on stage. I like how I like how Dark Stalker used the spring to recover with the down air touch. But once again, Robbie manages to catch him with air slash whilst recovering. Sometimes you can avoid it, but in some cases, oh, that's a missed grab opportunity there. Robbie definitely getting the better of um, Dark Stalker now. But this could be dangerous. And again, as I said earlier, it doesn't just use just a short hop by ledge. Because he knows if he misses, he can then do use his second jump and up B to get back on stage in case he misses. That's a grab. Is that gonna kill? Not just yet. Oh no, just did not land enough time to catch Robbie. Oh wow. He can actually do a Sonic can actually do a homing attack in that scenario. That's a mistake from Darkstalker. Again, good homing attack stuff, but again, he's really... Darkstalker in this game has really found it difficult to end Robbie's stocks. Uh, I, I, is that... Nope, Robbie still makes it back. Good old job, Monado. Comes to the rescue. Good stalling with the recovery there from Darkstalker. Oh, he tried. To, he tried to go for jab. I thought. It, I think in scenarios like that, he would actually go for grab. Oh no, he tried to uh, gimp him with spring. But honestly, I think he should have just stayed by ledge and held shield. Then he would have landed a down smash. But very nice play from Robbie. Swinging the momentum into his advantage. Whether he can keep this up, I have no idea. We shall wait and see. No, they're not. Sorry about that, had to speak with somebody there. Robbie had a good start there, but Dolce could make his way back. Good parry, but no, no advantage though in that, in that instance for Darkstalker. Oh, just missed the grab, just out of range. That's, that's had the three parries in a row, I think that was. That doesn't show how good timing, how good of a timing Dog Stalker has for parries. I don't know what does. And the thing about Dog Stalker's parries is that he's been take, able to take advantage of said parries in some cases. Again, I think it's because of how big Shulk's back air is, is that he can't really land a grab. For, for instance. So I think it's just a matchup thing in this in particular. Just misposition to back here. Dog Sockers really trying to get into Robbie's face and that time he did throw out a forward smash. Again, nice parries. Don't think Robbie has 
Smash Monodic doesn't need it. The back air will help. But again, another another Sonic Spin Dash combo at low percent. You can rack up a fair amount of damage depending on said combo. Like if it's Spin Dash on your tab, I think that does an easy 20 to 30 percent. Not entirely certain. But probably already at 85 percent. This is not, this just doesn't look good. Well, just missed the spring. I think he wanted to land on the spring. Interesting, interesting landing option there from Dark Soccer. Again, more or less a mix-up, trying to throw Robbie off guard. Dark Soccer getting better stage control now in this game in comparison to how he did in the third game, where he really struggled to end Robbie's first stop. And the same case happened with the second stop. Nope. But Shulk, now at 200%, so a bit of scary stuff, I would say. Could risk an up air. No, up air will... Yep. No, I think that was forward air. Either way, there was a throw was... I actually don't know what Sonic's, what Sonic's throws kills are proper percents and such. The actual percentage and such, but either way, Brandon back in the lead, that is a huge gamble on Robbie's part. He's thankful he didn't get heavily punished for that, but that's a bit of a gamble to take, but he probably won't go for that again, since he took a risk and it didn't pay off. Oh, I think he wanted to air dodge onto the ledge. Sorry, on the platform, but just didn't time it correctly. Bombing attack is coming in well for Darkstalker. And again, Darkstalker seems to slow down his pace in terms of approaching as such, so seems to have adapted how Robbie plays. I mean, <laughs> it looks like Shilmanado is a bit pointless for Shulk in this matchup. He held back there, hoping Robbie was going to fast fall so he can land the back air for the win. All, all 26% with just two hits with Buster Monado. But it's gone now. Robbie last starting to land those, starting to land back airs and forward airs and such. And with punishing stops, Dark Soccer better. Drops off from ledge. Trying to play mind games on Robbie with the spin dashing and so on and so forth. Just missed the grab. Oh, but he's got one there. Okay, jumped away. Brought out the jump on auto. That's good. He was actually, I think he was close to landing on the platform, which would have actually killed him, as we saw, as we saw what happened to Super earlier. Oh, this is dangerous. He could lose his stock. He would have certainly lost his stock if Robbie went for a forward air. Dark Soccer starting to show signs of nerves, I think, because he's not approaching as comfortably as he probably wants to. And he's trying to force Robbie to go out of shield and lands the back air there. That was amazing. Very well played from Dark Stalker. Reaches loses semis. He'll play super later on today. That was a great set.